I'm Cheryl. And I'm Mai Mai. And this is True, True Crime and Other Stuff. Stuff. Today we're going to talk about some weird history. We recently watched a movie on Netflix about the Radium Girls. This is a true story from the 1920s. The Radium Girls were the first people who worked for years with the world's most radioactive substance and they suffered the consequences. On the 20th of April, 1902, after years of hard work, Marie and Pierre Curie successfully isolated a brand new element, radium. It was thought at the time that this new material might have all kinds of beneficial properties, and so radium was swiftly incorporated into a huge range of products, everything from makeup to ceramics to health tonics and jewellery. What wasn't understood at this time was that radium was, in fact, quite deadly. The popularity of radium shortly after its discovery cannot be overstated. Radiation was something that wasn't well understood at the time, but which had positive associations. It was understood that radiation could be used to kill cancerous cells, but the damaging effects it had on healthy cells weren't fully appreciated. People in the 1920s thought radium was health-giving. They made all kinds of glow-in-the-dark items, even a paint called Undark. That the United States Radium Corporation had women painting watch dials with. They were told to dip lip paint. So dip it in the paint, put the brush between the lips, and then paint the watch dials. They were paid a penny per dial. These young women started getting sick with all types of symptoms, and some even died. The doctor hired by the company said they died of syphilis, which wasn't true. Graves were dug up and revealed that they were full of radiation. These women died of radiation poisoning. Other women sued the company and spent a lot of time fighting them. The company knew the dangers of radium for a long time. Some women settled for $10,000 apiece, medical expenses, and the factory also closed. A federal judge who arranged the settlement was a stockholder in American radium as well. Radium paint was used until the 1970s. The Radium Girls case, well, the Radium Girls cases impact labor laws in the U.S. leading to changes in the workers' compensation and the creation of radi radiation safety standards. If you run a Geiger counter across the grave of a radium girl, it will click for over a thousand years. Wow, what a horrible story. These women were treated horribly and uh, I didn't like it. Did you? What did you think? I don't like it either. It's horrible that this company know, knowingly put their um, their employees in danger. And it's kind of sad, really. Dip lip paint. Yep. Dip lip paint. Thanks for watching our show and have a good evening. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, <laughs> like, and subscribe if you want. And leave comments in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to hear about next. Thank you.